What about YouTube? This is your boy Game Landy. We're back again with another video, and today we're jumping right back into I Am Your Beast. Like this game has been going great. And first of all, for those of you who want to skip ahead, you can skip ahead past the monologue. No problem. Timestamp is in the description. So, without say, guys, like the game has been going great. You know, the game is very interested. Interesting in how. I like the story element of it. It's a very simple story, but I still enjoy it's a reason to get the killing going. And I like that. I actually really, really like that, you know. But regardless, guys, I'm having a great time with the game. I still wholeheartedly recommend the game. It's a very enjoyable experience. And with that said, let's jump in. Harding, I know you're listening. You can still come in. We've gone fishing. You've held my son. I'll put this behind us. You have a choice. Build a life worth living. Doing work that needs doing. Listen, Birkin. That's real nice and all. But I'm not fucking coming back. And I'm a little busy here. You're creating a no-win scenario for yourself, Harding. Noted. Can't run forever. I heard that Harding killed a guy with a drink coaster once. Sliced his head off. Hiding inside.
you doing, Birkin? Harding? How are you accessing this frequency? I was bored. Thought I'd tool around with my radio kit. Figured you could use some company, considering how many you've been losing lately. God, you would be an incredible asset if you weren't forcing us to kill you. It's a shame you couldn't let me go. You can't hide from me! Party in sight!
that looks bad. Why would that? I, ah. Oh. That's the same place I got stabbed in Syria. <laughs> Fucking Syria. God. That's internal bleeding for sure. I can't fix this on my own. I'm gonna need equipment. And look. it's the inclement weather. Maybe it's the lack of blood. Either way, Harding, you seem to have stumbled into a natural kill box. Fuck oh off. <laughs> that sounds like a man without a better retort. You have one last chance. Turn yourself in. You know what's funny? For all of your attempts to bring me in, you have not once tried to come out here yourself. Because you're afraid. I'll be out there soon enough. After all, someone needs to identify your body. United States government and the international intelligence community. I declare you unfit for duty. <laughs> Effective immediately, your access to privileged information, resources, and support is revoked. Additionally, you are held responsible for actions committed during your tenure with the COI. 
Given a pattern of misdeeds and your ongoing liability to the future security of our nation, you will be executed at the earliest possible opportunity, with no condition for appeal or parole. I'm done trying to bring you in, Harding. How do you plead? I guess I plead guilty. I sure did commit a pattern of misdeeds in my service. You'll just have to catch me first. degrees counterclockwise press device directly against open wound Do you know about Leeson Air Force Base? I really don't like whatever you're leading up to with that. It's been a while, by the way. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good. Birkin finally admitted that he needs help. He's requisitioning aircraft from the base, calling in agents from abroad. From all the movement happening at the FOB, it actually seems like... Seems like he's calling in every favor he's got. So, aside from the air support, there's nothing too specific. Things are just going to get a lot worse. Yep. That's a good way of putting it. Well, thanks for the intel. And for being friendly. I didn't realize how much I needed someone to just be friendly to me. So even though it's happening under duress... Thank you. Aww. Well, the pleasure's been mine, babe. I, um... I hope you make it through this, Alphonse. You and me both. Babe.
Next time Harding pops up, blammo, we hit him with one of these. You don't think Harding's gonna use the RPGs against us? Of course not! What's he gonna do? Take them? <laughs> putting everything he's got into the chopper. Loading up every hard point that it has. What does that have to do with us meeting? Because there's no way you're getting out of this without facing down that chopper. Oh. Yeah. So you've been flying this entire time? Guilty. <laughs> I can't afford not to. Uh, with the COI knowing where my wife and daughter live, having a copy of the keys. Speaking of which, um, I hear they store those keys at a Sector 92 Delta, along with a lot of artillery. Uh, if you want to do me a favor and want a fighting chance, I'd, uh, I, I, I go there, <laughs> and I'll stall as long as I can. May the best man win, Byron. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think you will, babe. Uh, I'll see you around. See you around. Harding, can we get our hands on you? Converge on Harding!
going on here? I don't have been talking a lot in these because I really have to focus. You know, guys. What's going on? So good, me and the guy we'll be talking to on the phone. Listen, listen, you gotta know my daughter's name. You gotta, you gotta tell her I love her. You got Don't tell me anything. Oh, shit, shit, please, please. It cut me, but I can't feel it. That's Chuck. Anyway, in the middle of all of that, while you were sleeping, you had a bio tracker implanted. Oh, okay, I felt that deep in your leg. Oh, oh. <laughs> this little guy. That, that was in my leg. I'm going to put it in a piece of raw meat, and a bear or a wolf or something is going to eat it. By the time the COI figures out what's happened, you and your family will be long gone. I promise. Why? Why would you... Why would you do this for me? Because you're my friend, babe. <laughs> I take my hand. Okay. Got a long walk. Ow. Hey. How fun. Thanks. Thank you, Byron. Uh, how's my flying back there? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Nearly killed me. So, <laughs> that's something. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll get you next time. Don't say. Nah. <laughs> God, I hate Birkin. Yeah, fuck. Me too. Me too. I don't know if you're listening, Harding. What I do know is that two good pilots died yesterday. You've destroyed millions of dollars in equipment. I'm finishing this. If you don't die tomorrow, I'm not sure the devil himself could kill you. Favorite 
agents sound like get you to quit. There's a beast inside of me. Fuck a letter out of the way. There's a beast inside of me. The beast inside of me. Stop. You know I've seen that before. You use flags, patriots, and metaphor. You may You're dead, Hardin. Bring Harding down! Stick around forehead, face on pavement Got a cell block in my basement Exercising tyrants with the dawn that's breaking Turn on lights cause the stage is Harding's got an assault rifle! Blood is warm and my face is wet Hands are full with the lives I've wrecked They won't forget And slivers, and it's the death now I'm knocking, and I'm here to deliver with the right shield crushing through the gates. You were wrecked. Why are you screaming, motherfucker? Thought this wasn't a threat. Thought our contract was good. That betrayal's theoretical. Cold sweat a nightmare with the red radical. Now the body is cracking. Say your words not worth shit. Call your favorite agents. I'm gonna teach you to quit. There's a beast inside of me. Inside of me, stop. You know I've seen your kind before. You use flags, patriots, and metaphor. You made an army of twice cheated hearts. They don't need targets. You're where you start. Oh!
Motherfuckers wanna make a statement Cigarette on forehead, face on pavement Got a cell block in my basement Exercising tyrants with the dawn that's breaking Turn on lights cause the stage is Alphonse Are you there? General? I'm not your general I'm pulling back what little forces I have left You Win. Was all this worth it? Fuck no. <laughs> Sorry. No, I no. Just, I, uh, I see the humor in it. You know. I just hope you understand that it's out of my hands now. Others will come to your forest. They'll want to challenge you themselves. Get revenge. I can't protect you. Your job never was to protect me, Birkin. I suppose that's true. Goodbye, Alphonse. Goodbye, General. You can call me Charles. I'm not going to be calling you at all. Fucking amen to that. Dear Diary. Today was a good day. I sat on top of broken multi-million dollar machinery with a thermos of coffee, swaying in the wind, watching the sun rise. I finished whittling that bear cub I started a few days ago. So, Mama Bear now has three hungry, healthy children. I found yet another abandoned camp while I was out walking. More evidence of just how much Burke invested in his private war. And I saw this brilliant yellow bird. It landed next to me while I was walking like I could be trusted. I saw that I wasn't a threat. See why I may have tried to mold me into their monster, but today I felt that less. I was really good today. And I can't wait to see who I'll be tomorrow. guys so we complete we have completed the story for i am your beast it was a challenging <laughs> but interesting game yes is one of these playthroughs that i didn't really speak a lot because i have i had to be zoned in to the game <laughs> you're not going to believe how many times i probably died you will never know how many times i probably died <laughs> To get guys his content but we got this guy it's been an amazing experience i totally enjoy the game i would definitely recommend the game um the voice acting is pretty good the story is pretty basic but entertaining enough because of the good voice acting it makes it entertaining enough for you to just enjoy the shooting throwing knives and all those type of things it's very interesting throwing weapons like the difficulty curve is immense but also rewarding when you find your own strategy your own way to get through and i think that's the beautiful thing about like, games like these the drop in the sandbox and you need to figure out your own strategy through this thing and uh, yeah it's, it's pretty good guys it's pretty good i really did enjoy it i really do enjoy it i would recommend this it is you can the music the heart but the music is phenomenal and uh, the voice actor as said is good phenomenal and it's, it's it's technically very competent you know for unity game this is a unity engine game it's very i haven't come across any real bug per se bug at all it's smooth like, there were a few hiccups now and again but it wasn't and i don't think those hiccups made into the video either but it was pretty staple 90 percent, 99 percent of the time and i think it's it's an enjoyable game right? if you're really good at first person shooter you might get through the story very quickly uh, I think I've, I would consider myself to be average at first-person shooters, so, you know, <laughs> given that, that's why I'm kind of, you know, it took me a bit longer 
but it's still very pretty short but i think it's still worth the amount of money you pay for it because one it's in this in the studio you know and i think when it comes on to being to supporting in the studio i, I I'm really all for it. I think the price point of twenty dollars is really is definitely worth it. Music, the vibe, everything. If you don't think it's worth it, um, I would say wait for a sale. But this is definitely a game I would suggest that you try uh, try out. The demo is available. I said, experience the game and uh, see if it's actually for you, and then buy the game it's pretty cool it's pretty challenging there is no difficulty option I, I, um you just have to use your environment to your advantage so yeah With that said guys thank you all for being here thank you all for enjoying the content and see you guys next time please leave a like on the video if you haven't already more content coming to you very soon see you guys for the next one peace commander out